If you are visiting Rocky Mountain National Park in 2023, then you need an extra reservation to get into the park. So today I wanna to talk you through uh, what kind of reservation you need, how it works. We'll go through the entire process together so you can see exactly how to get this reservation. And I'll make sure I answer all of your questions so that you can have a fantastic Rocky vacation. My name is Ash, I'm a former park ranger and the founder of Dirt In My Shoes, and today we are talking all about Rocky Mountain timed entry permits. And so I wanna walk you through exactly what they are. Uh, there's a few different options that you can get this year, and uh, I'll show you how to get them. So let's jump right in. So these Rocky Mountain reservations are for everybody who wants to visit Rocky Mountain. So you'll need a reservation to get into any part of the park, even some of the outlying areas. So basically, if you're going to be in Rocky Mountain National Park, you will need one of these reservations. These reservations are needed from May 26th to October 22nd, 2023. So if you're visiting during that main summer season when all the roads are open, and if you're hoping to get in there and do some hiking, uh, then you will need to reserve one of these reservations. I'm here on the official National Park Service website for Rocky Mountain, and there's a whole bunch of information here about their timed entry permits, which I'll walk you through, but I do wanna show you how to know when you need to be reserving this. If you scroll down, you'll see this box here that tells you when those reservations open up for you. And so if you're visiting in August, then you'll need to make your reservations on July 1st, and that's July 1st at 8 a.m. Mountain Time. So if you can get in here and make these reservations when they very first release on these dates, then it will make a huge difference as to being able to actually get what you want. You'll be able to get in there before everything gets sold out. So the first thing that I would do is go on to recreation.gov and make an account. You will use that account for lots of different national parks. So it's really nice to have one, but do that in advance of needing those reservations. And then make note based on that table I just showed you of what day you need to be online getting your reservation. So again, if you're going in say July, um, say you're going July 15th, then you will make your reservations on June 1st at 8 a.m. Mark that in your calendar so that you're ready to go. Let's discuss the two different permit options for 2023. Uh, this is very similar to what they've done in past years, but there are a few different things happening, so I'm gonna talk you through it. Okay, so I am on the Timed Entry Permit System webpage on the official Rocky Mountain site, and I will link this page in the video notes so that you can get here easily. But just a few things that I wanna walk you through. So you'd need this timed entry reservation, which we're talking about right now, plus you also need an entrance fee. So they are not the same, you will need both. The entry reservation for this video, you'll have to do that in advance. You need to do that before you get to the park. The entrance fee, you can do that when you get to the park, when you go through the entrance station, they'll take care of that. So don't worry about doing the entrance fee in advance but these timed entry reservations you do need to do in advance. Okay, there are two different permits available this year, and so I wanna walk you through both of them. So the first one is the park access, and you'll see this information here. This park access reservation gets you to anywhere that is marked in green on this map, which is basically everywhere, but it does exclude the Bear Lake area but everywhere else you can get into at this park access. For the park access reservation, you will need one between the hours of 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Those are the busiest times in Rocky Mountain National Park, and so they want you to res reserve your time slot if you're coming in between those hours. When you make your reservation, you'll choose a time slot. You do need to enter the park during that time slot, but as long as you enter during that initial time slot, you can come and go as needed. And so it's really nice. You have access to most of the park. Uh, it's pretty easy to get around. It's pretty easy actually to get these reservations. They're not as competitive as the other ones, which we'll talk about in a minute. 
But um, so if you're not planning on going to the Bear Lake area on a particular day, then the park access works great for that. And all of these reservations are one day reservations. And so if you're spending multiple days in Rocky Mountain National Park, then you'll need to make a reservation for every day. Okay, the other reservation option is the Park Access Plus, and this one gets you everywhere with the orange on the map. And so this is, these are all the roads in Rocky that the orange is covering. And so you'll notice it gets you everywhere where the Park Access Reservation gets you, but it also gets you onto the Bear Lake Road, which is the busiest part of the park. They are doing things a little bit different this year for the Park Access Plus. And so uh, if you want to go to Bear Lake, then, uh, and you do, it's amazing. Uh, and there's a lot of great hiking trails up in there. It's really fantastic. So um, if you wanna go to Bear Lake, then you'll wanna get this Park Access Plus. Uh, the trick is that you'll want to reserve the time slot for the time that you want to be up by Bear Lake because that's what they're gonna check as you go into the Bear Lake area. Um, they're gonna check that time that you reserved. And so reserve your Park Access Plus for the time that you wanna be at Bear Lake. Uh, and then you do need a reservation to get up in this area from the hours of 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. So it's most of the day uh, because this area just stays so busy. A lot of longer hiking trails for the people who wanna get here early in the morning, uh, but it does stay busy throughout the day. And so you will need a reservation for this one unless you just plan on visiting outside of those hours. Another new thing that they're doing with this Park Access Plus reservation this year is that uh, you can come into the Bear Lake Road at the time that you reserved, but if you wanna leave and come back, you have to wait until after 2 p.m. to do that. And so it's not like the park access where you can just come and go as you please everywhere. Uh, if you wanna go to Bear Lake and you get this park access plus, then uh, you can't leave the Bear Lake area and come back as you please. Um, you'll have to wait till after 2 p.m. to do that. So you will wanna make note of that. Um, just when you're making your reservation, make sure that you reserve a time that you can be at Bear Lake for the first time, stay there as long as you want, uh, but if you leave, you can't come back to Bear Lake until after 2 p.m. You can go anywhere else in the park though, so the timing doesn't matter. Like once you're in during that reserve time slot, uh, then you can come and go throughout the rest of the park. Uh, this is just specific for the Bear Lake Road and that Bear Lake Corridor area. The tricky thing is that even if you get these reservations uh, in advance, they don't guarantee parking. And so you will want to make sure that you have a really good plan for getting in there and getting parking because even if you have a reservation, say for the very busy Bear Lake area, uh, you might get in there with your reservation but then have nowhere to park. So definitely keep that in mind. If you need any help planning out your actual schedule, I have an hour by hour itinerary for Rocky Mountain on dirtinmyshoes.com and I will walk you through uh, when I would be in certain areas and exactly what reservations you'll need to get into those areas and what times you'll want them for. So now that we've walked through the types of reservations that are available in Rocky Mountain National Park this year, I wanted to take a quick minute to tell you how to get around this reservation. <laughs> so uh, there are some ways around it. You don't, out, you don't always need the reservation to explore the park. And so here's a few ways that you can get around it. Uh, the first way is you can enter outside of the reservation times for those areas. And so as I mentioned, the park access entry permit is only needed from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. So you can enter Rocky before 9 a.m. or after 2 p.m. without a reservation. So that's a really good, easy way to get around that one. Uh, for the Park Access Plus, those hours are 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. And so if you want to get around that one um, and get into the Bear Lake area without a reservation, then you'll need to be in that area before 5 a.m. or after 6 p.m. Another way that you can get around this reservation is by booking your campground reservation in the park. And so that will get you, that counts basically as your reservation. So looking at a map, there are several different campgrounds you can choose from. If you stay in the Timber Creek campground over here, then that only gets you a park 
access reservation, okay? That one won't get you into the Bear Lake area, but it will get you everywhere else. If you're staying in Aspen Glen or Glacier Basin over here, then those ones will get you onto the Bear Lake Road. Those ones will function as if they are a park access plus. The Moraine Park Campground is closed in 2023, so that one's not an option for this year, but Aspen Glen or Glacier Basin will get you basically a Park Access Plus reservation for the dates that you'll be camping. On the day that your campground reservation starts, you can enter the park at 1 p.m. with that reservation and go through the entrance line and that will count as your entrance reservation. So um, that's another option. Your last option really is to uh, book like a horseback riding tour in the park. And if you do that, then you can enter the park two hours before your tour time starts. So they are uh, being more specific about that this year than they have in previous years. Um, they're really setting like a time that you can come in if you have camping or a tour reservation. So do pay attention to that. But those are basically your three options for getting into the park without one of these reservations. Either enter outside of the times that you need a reservation, uh, book your camping in the park, or book a horseback riding tour in the park. The majority of people will need a Rocky Mountain timed entry permit reservation. And so now I wanna show you how to get one. So we'll head over to recreation.gov and I will walk you through the process. Okay, so let's take a look at how to actually get these timed entry permits. So you'll go to recreation.gov. This is the website that most national parks use. And so you'll want to make an account. I would make your account a day or two beforehand, just so you're not having to do it on the same day. And then you'll log in and you'll come over here and you'll search for Rocky Mountain National Park. Okay, scrolling down. See, this is where you can make campground reservations and everything too, but we're looking for the timed entry. So I'm gonna click right here. All right, so I'm logged in. I'm on the timed entry page and it's a couple of minutes before eight o'clock. So I do recommend coming in here, getting set up and you know making sure that everything looks okay before eight o'clock mountain time, which is when these release. Because as soon as eight o'clock comes around, you're going to want to be on this page and ready to go so that you can get what you need. So as you can see, uh, they have the Park Access Plus and the Park Access, so you do need to decide which one you want. I recommend going for the Park Access Plus first. That one's going to be a little more competitive. And if you recall on the map here, the Park Access Plus is the one that includes Bear Lake. So clicking into the Park Access Plus. Now when you get in here, you'll notice that these say not release, this weird orange brown color. And this is what you'll see if you come in here in advance. But if you hover over the date that you need, so let's say you're going in August and you hover over the 15th, then it will tell you when the next release for those tickets are. So the Timed entry permits for August don't release until July 1st at 8 a.m. You can see for July, those ones release on June 1st. If you hover over it and you see a different date, like you know for August 7th, you see that the next release is the 6th, then that means that the tickets have already been released in advance, but there are some other options, some last minute things that you can do to get tickets. And so, if you're wondering what day you need to be on recreation.gov to get these, just hover over the date that you need and it will tell you. But for today, the ones that are opening are for June. So I'm just gonna wait here. It's 7.59 and I'm waiting for these to open up. Okay, it's eight o'clock, so I'm going to, there we go, you just click on them. You only need one ticket. Let's go for, I'll go for a later date. We'll go for June 22nd. You only need one ticket per vehicle. And then these times are the times that you're going to be at Bear Lake. And so that is important for the Park Access Plus. You're going to want to choose the time that you're actually going to be at Bear Lake because that's when they're going to check it. So you'll click your time, request tickets. Great, okay, I got it in my cart. 
Now, these timed entry permits are only good for one day. And so if you're staying for just one day, then I would get park access so that you can get everywhere. Uh, but if you're going to stay for multiple days, you'll probably really only need one of the park access plus uh, because those ones, you know, you usually only spend a day or so at Bear Lake and then you're exploring the rest of the park um, during the rest of your days. But um, you'll want to plan this out in advance. Make sure you know which timed entry permit you need for which days. And again, go for the park access plus first because that one's harder to get and then go back in and get your other park access ones or the other days that you'll be there. And so I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, so this is here. Read through this, you'll enter your information, proceed to cart. Great, okay, that's in there. Now I'm gonna go to continue shopping and it spits me back out at the very beginning. I can do Rocky Mountain National Park or the timed entry. I know I want the timed entry, so I'll just go straight there. And this one, I need park access. I don't need to go to Bear Lake on this day. And so then I'm going to come, let's see, I think my park access plus was for the 22nd. So we'll go for the 23rd. Again, only one ticket needed per vehicle. And then I'll select the one that I want and request tickets. Perfect, okay, and I got that one in my cart. Again, read through all this, make sure you know what that one says. Okay, so I really like the way this looks. This is what I want, Park Access Plus for Bear Lake Road on the 22nd, and I plan on getting to the Bear Lake Road between 10 and 12. And then just regular Park Access, so that does not include Bear Lake, but it will get you everywhere else in the park. I have that one the next day from 11 to 1. And so if I want to add anything else, again, you'll just go to continue shopping and you can go back in and add another day or whatever, however many days that you need in the park. But this, I'm taking a two day trip, so this will work for now. And then at which point you'll go to proceed to payment. You'll enter all your payment info here. It is $2 per timed entry permit. After you enter all the information, then you'll be sent two different emails. One will be a receipt and one will be your actual timed entry permits. And so you'll want to make sure, uh, I definitely recommend, especially in Rocky Mountain, to print out your timed entry permits and make sure you print out the right ones, not just the receipt. It needs to be the actual permit. Print those out and bring them with you because if you're in some of the outlying areas of Rocky Mountain National Park, uh, then you are required to display your timed entry permit like on your dashboard. And so you'll want a printed copy so that you can do that so that they always know that you are supposed to be there and you have the permit that you need. So I definitely recommend uh, printing out those timed entry permits and then you'll bring those to the park. When you go through the entrance station, uh, then they will check and make sure that you are entering at the time that you reserved and then you are good to go. Okay, so if you get on recreation.gov and you see that there is nothing available for your dates, um, then that means that they've probably already been released and you will want to go for the last minute timed entry that they release. And so 40% of the timed entry reservations will release one day in advance and those release at 5 p.m. mountain time and so you'll want to be online right at that time and you'll go through this same process uh, but they will have those last minute ones releasing at 5 p.m. the night before and so if you can't get them in advance definitely try to get them the night before so that you can still enter the park when you want to. I just wanna show you one quick thing. I did mention this before, but you'll see. So for this one, these are the ones that released today. I'm here for the early release, the initial release. July did not release yet. And so again, if you hover over, it says that those will release on June 1st at 8 a.m. Now, when these are all gone, since they released today, they probably will be mostly gone today. <laughs> But when these are completely gone, then this date will turn this orange color. And then when you hover over it, it will say that these will be released. Like for the 22nd, it will say these will be released on the 21st at 5 p.m. So it will change over once all of these are gone, then they will change back to either this unavailable or this not released color. And then when you hover over it, it will tell you when the next release is for that day. 
So that's a really good hack uh, because a lot of people get confused when they come in here. Uh, you know, if you don't plan well in advance, then you know, you might be coming in here two weeks in advance or something and you might just see big blocks of orange. Uh, it might look like nothing is available, but just hover over those dates and they'll tell you when that next release is. So if you don't get the ones that you need, you can either uh, come back through this process the night before at 5 p.m. Mountain Time and try to get the permits that you need, or you can enter outside of those hours. So for the whole park, if you wanna to go to Bear Lake and everything, then you will need to enter before 5 a.m. and after 6 p.m. So that one is a very long uh, reservation time. Uh, so you will need to get there either very early in the morning or later in the evening. Uh, for the rest of the park though, those reservations are only required from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. So if you enter before 9 a.m. or after 2 p.m., then uh, you will be able to get into the park without one of these reservations. So keep that in mind, there are some workarounds, but hopefully you're able to get exactly what you need. And I hope that you have a fantastic vacation to Rocky Mountain National Park.